Hi everyone, this is week 34 of the Thursday test. Question 1, 8.1 divided by 0 0.9. That's the same as 81 divided by 9. Your answer is 9. Question number 2, 1 sixth plus 1 half. Well, both numbers have to change to something over 6. So 1 sixth stays at 1 sixth. 3 over 6 is equal to 1 half. So add 1 sixth and 3 sixths. Your answer is 4 sixths and that simplifies to 2 thirds. Question number 3, reduce this line by 5 to 1. So the whole length of the line is 50 millimeters, so your new length is 10 millimeters. Question number four. Uh, 1045 on 10th of April, 2.05 a.m. on the 11th of April. Time difference is what? So if you think about it, if that was just 10 o'clock, 10 a.m., 10 in the morning, up until midnight, it would be 14 hours. On to 1 o'clock would be 15 hours. On to 2 o'clock would be 16 hours. So if you look at it from the point of view of 10.45, it would be 14 hours up to midnight, like 40, like 12.45 midnight. It would be 15 hours to 1.45. It would be 16 hours to 2.45. But look at this. It's not 16 hours. So it's 15 hours and how many minutes then? From 45 minutes on to 5. Well, it's 15 minutes up to the hour and then an extra 5. So your answer is 15 hours and 20 minutes. And that was me assuming that this would be AM. It doesn't actually say AM or PM, but the fact that this is a zero here tells me that it's probably using a 24 hour clock. And if that's the case, that's 15 hours, 20 minutes. If you understood this to be PM, even though it doesn't say it, and it shouldn't really be. But if you were to say that, then it would be two hours to midnight, three hours to 1 AM. So it'd be three hours and 20 minutes. But I think, the way to, to answer this is that this is AM because it's 24 hour clock. Question number five, the numeral 10.65 million is 10 million 650,000. Simplify 20 over 60, uh, two over six, one over three. 1 million 100,000 take away 300,000 is 800,000. Four liters and 25 milliliters is 4.025 liters. Question nine. Uh, 2 over 5 multiplied by 1 over 2. So we can simplify that to 2 over 3. We can say cancel that out. 2 over 3 and over 3. Uh, so this is a 90 degree rotation clockwise. You flip everything one quarter turn so it looks like that. Question 11. 1 fifth of an hour is 12 minutes. 60 divided by 5 is 12. Uh, question 12. 1 quarter plus 4 over 100. You have to change that 1 quarter into 25 over 100. So 25 over 100 plus 4 over 100 is 29 over 100. Question number 3, 10 to the power of 4 is the one with four zeros, 10,000. The square root of 4 is 2. 6 meters is 6,000 milliliters, millimeters, sorry. Question 16, 3.85, 3.9, 3.95, 4. 4.05, 4.1. 4.05, 4.1. Question 17, draw a dot at 5, 1 and label it A, so 5 across 1 up, A. And 18, draw a dot at 1, 5, and label B, 1 across and 5 up, that's B. Question 19, there are 0 0.6 euros, it's 1 Canadian dollar. How many euro would you get for 5 Canadian dollars? So the ratio is 0 0.6 to 1. So then it's, if you change that to 5, you have to multiply this by 5. 0 0.6 multiplied by 5, and that's 3. So it's 3 is to 5, so your answer is 3 euro. Question 20, round 18.3678. The three decimal places, you look at that fourth decimal place, that's eight, so that round seven rounds up to an eight. So it's 18.368. Problem solving for Thursday. Tomatoes cost 80 cents. Sorry, let's try and get it straight. Cost 80, 80 cents per 200 grams. What's the cost of five, gram, five kilograms of tomatoes? Okay, first of all, find out one kilogram. 200 multiplied by five will give you one kilogram. So it's 80 cents for 200 grams. 80 multiplied by five will give you one kilogram. So that's four euros. 80 by five is 400, that's 400 cents. So it's four euros for one kilogram. If it's four euros for one kilogram, it's 20 euros for five kilograms. Question two, the tomatoes were reduced in price by 50%. What's the cost of four and one fifth kilograms? Okay, the new price is two euros per kilogram because it was four euros per kilogram so we just to multiply is two by four and one fifth now you can multiply that by like write it out as 4.2 multiply by two you get 8.4 or as a fraction like this you get eight and two fifths which is still 8.4 eight euros 40 cents is your answer